Everybody was until he left the game. We don't need to talk about what happens it at the top of the strike zone. She ends one, two to Altuve. Popped up, has a read on it. The most amazing pitching staff he's ever seen. And grounds out to short. One, one in the air. That's a one, two, three top. And Mookie Betts with a drive to left. That's the way you start a ball game in a series. Another leadoff bomb for Betts. I hit games in that span. Continue on this 3-2. No, as France elevates. Pitching staff is Smith. At the track is McCormick, and he reaches up to haul it. Understanding where the wall is, the warning track. France is 1-1. Laced to left by D. Ground ball to second. Spots the Dodgers. Watch the count go to 1-1. One one. Do us any good to talk about it. It won't change what happened in 2017. Ground ball to third. Bush. Devon to Freeman, that's two. That's a high fly ball deception in front of the warning track. Snapped an 0 for 24. Pops out to Dubon. Field. The lid comes up. back to first base. I, I think he... Oh, look at these hits for the Dodgers. It's been silent. Good eye from Michael Ball. That ball's in the air. Not enough as McCormick catches it. Eggs and scores. Everybody. 3-2. In the air to left. Jokes. Fun baseball player to watch. It's 2-2. His game yet, but he will get there. Ground ball to short. Roll left. There. Runner going. Maldonado going off the hazard. Bush goes to second. 2-0 with the Dodgers ahead of the Astros. 2-0. Smith goes the other. Good defensive outfielder. Had room to make his working. Guessing, but watching you or Joe or somebody else, Eric Carroll's. <laughs> Dubon greets him with a long fly ball to left field. That ball's gone. Mauricio Dubon, home run number four on the year. Pence laps. <laughs> now Tucker sends one to right, going back on his Mookie Betts. He's at the wall. It's gone. Back to back jacks. Dubon and Tucker. Isn't much. <laughs> and promptly got hit pretty hard. Work early a little bit. These games move along pretty good. In. We'll take the first out. Strike three, swinging. Strike three, swinging upstairs. 24 innings, new ball game. To the tough inning he had. To fly ball. To... Race is over. On the on deck circle, they... and with two field goes Outman, who's two for two. Outman takes off for second, and he will have it safe. The 32 you see on your screen. That's a walk for Roll. Now the other way. That's a fair ball for Bush. The Dodgers are going to take the little half behind them. The throw home will be in time. Fly ball to sit for Astros two as we finish the fourth. James Altman, 37 later this summer. He's down. Breaking ball, but we talked about stuff. Hit right at James Outman. Feeling better like you wanted to see Oral. Struck out in the first, second. After the Astros lost Luis Garcia, he makes his debut. Waves at strike three. LA still leads by one. With a W, but they ended up giving it up. Bed of Sheehan to Vargas. We owe him one, guys. Very shorter, tight rope. Tucker goes the other. He can get very Remains a hitter He's here and there. Swings at the first pitch and we roll to a break. We'll be right back to Dodger Stadium after. To Peralta. Rip to right. For their big guns coming. Or for the guy who's going to be on the mound. Pitch selection gives you a little bit of a net. But emphasis on the bottom of the order. I'll be a broken bat base hit in his. But gotten three hits. The barrel was the line driver. And roll. 
Rojas shoots one to right field. Out there, Rojas tied at the hip. They soft. They do. Taking over, wanting to have a good solid outing, picking up his buddy. It's an early part of his career. As one out. Outside, Rojas comes in. Or on Michael Grove. From Grove. Oh, perfectly. Knees, this works. Homer leading off the. Strike three. Simon. He strikes out Mookie and. He's effectively wild. <laughs> Number nine from Stanley. Smith, base hit into right. Simmons. Strike three, swinging. Eighth inning, grounded to Rojas, deep in the hole. But it's out of the zone. But those sliders there, are they. That's. And it will be. Booze at the correct time and cheer. Easy ground ball to Altuve. Even all choked up. <laughs> I hope you have. Oh no. no. Got some help in that AB against Altman. 3 2. So right now, top Moving of the in. Nine. Grounded to. Almost. Different hitter profile. Bounces the first pitch to Vargas at second. About three ground outs. James, before we get to your offensive performance and those three hits tonight, I want to ask you about Emmett Sheehan and then Michael Grove. What did you see from those two guys and how'd they step up today? They did great. That was my second time ever seeing Emmett pitch, and, you know, he's got some good stuff. Um, and Grover came in there and shut it down for two innings. Uh, that was huge and a tight game. So, uh, you know, our pitching staff did awesome tonight. Now, you three hits, I know you've been grinding at the plate. Does it seem and does it feel like things are turning around for the better now? Yeah, I felt like it's been turned around for a couple weeks. I just haven't haven't had the results I wanted, but uh, been feeling a lot better. And uh, you know, Mookie two RBIs tonight, starting us off one nothing. So uh, you know, he he uh, he was in there too a lot. So uh, but yeah, it was a good team win today. How good did it also just feel to carry the momentum over from the Angel series? It was huge. It was a uh, uh, you know the crowd showed up tonight, which was awesome. Uh, they were super into it. Um, yeah, I've been carrying the momentum. Pitching staff did awesome again. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to celebrating in the clubhouse with them. All right, James, congratulations on this win. A lot more to come. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, uh, Emmett, just another really strong outing for you. How would you compare this win to your last one? Just how you felt in regard to your stuff on the mound? Uh, I felt great. I feel like my stuff was definitely a little bit better, getting comfortable with the big league ball. And, uh, yeah, put us on chance to win, which is what I was trying to do. What's kind of your mindset when you are going into a matchup in which there is a lot of history between these two teams, a bit of a rivalry? Uh, what's kind of just going through your head as you're preparing to navigate through that lineup? Just big win. We got to beat these guys. Big series. So uh, yeah, just trying to trying to get out there and give us a chance. What was the focus for you on the mound? Uh, just getting strike one, strike two, getting ahead early, and then uh, hopefully putting away after. But you know, just getting ahead early for sure. What, what have you kind of maybe learned? About your stuff and just how well it kind of plays up at this this level. Sorry. What have you kind of learned about like your stuff and how it plays up at, at this level? Um, I mean, it's pretty similar to the way it was playing in Double A. I think uh, maybe a little less strikeouts, but other than that, you know, feel good with heaters up in the zone and you know sliders, changeups, some curveballs off that. But yeah, no, all good. And the slider today you use it more t uh, today than last time without game plan or was it a field thing like what kind of went into using leaning on that pitch a lot oh uh, yeah a little game planning stuff for sure and then also just you know seeing how the game goes seeing the swings some guys are taking and then uh going off that for sure was there definitely a, a more of a comfort zone for you coming out here for the second time yeah i think so i mean i was pretty comfortable on the mound last time i think leading up to the game this time i felt a lot more comfortable a little less nervous so that was good how comforting has it been, sort of just how well it's played the first couple starts here? It's been super comforting. I mean, I, I wasn't sure, you know, coming up, you never know how your stuff's going to play the next level, but to see it see it work is definitely a confidence builder. Do you have to kind of take a deep breath after the home runs or, or lock back in there or anything, or how are you able to kind of just move past that? Yeah, for sure. I uh, I like to think I'm, I'm pretty good at that type of stuff, getting back into it after giving up a homer, you know, walking the next guy. So just reset, you know, deep breath, and then get right back at it. How uh, impressive was it? Uh, it was great. Uh, he kept his composure, kept filling up the strike zone, um, you know, made a bad pitch, the slider that was just left up. 
and the change up to Tucker. But outside of that, there was a lot of swing and miss, a lot of missed barrels, and uh, you know, just he's just kind of flatline, kind of heart rate, and so it's just good to see him attack and um, for him again to go through six innings, put our bullpen in a good spot. You kind of wanted, you said before the game you wanted to see him put his back against the wall a little bit. How much? So he kind of impressed you with what he's able to do after those past five home runs. It's, it's impressive. And it's, you know, with, with a guy like uh, Emmett or any young pitcher, uh, you learn information with some adversity. And um, for him to give a couple homers, but to continue to not run from it <coughs> was pretty telling. <coughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we've been, you know, built our success on pitching and defense and um, to, uh, you know, minimize walks, to strike guys out, to catch the baseball. Uh, when we do that, you know, the offense should be good enough to put up enough runs to win. And tonight, uh, I think we left some runs, runners out there, but uh, I, I thought Mookie got us off to a good start and uh, scored enough to win a ball game. So, still want to be flexible in the long term, but what sort of stood out about Perot in just two innings uh, in relief? Did that play up in your eyes a little bit? I, I think with Michael, it was just good because he hasn't pitched in about a week, and for him to come into the game in a high leverage game uh, to fill up the strike zone, mix his pitches really well, I thought the stuff was really good and very efficient. So he'll be down until Wednesday and uh, be able to take the bulk of that game. 14 innings now for the bullpen, scoreless. I mean, how does it turn around that fast? Uh, it, it's baseball. I, I think that, yeah, if you look back a week ago, you know, we were downtrodden and, and uh, guys were frustrated. But, you know, these are the guys we have and we got to continue to trust them and run them out there and uh, expect better results. And uh, to their credit, they each uh, individually, collectively have answered the bell and pitched uh, very valuable innings for us. Um, I think, you know, with the bullpen right now, Evan will be back online. Gratterall will, will be down. But outside of that, you know, we've got a reloaded bullpen and they're performing. What do you think was kind of next for Evan, considering he's been too strong out? Do you see kind of making a, a space for himself in this rotation similar to Bobby or how do you see I, I think so. You know, we, we've talked about, uh, you know, Julio um, coming back. Uh, but considering the way that Emmett's thrown the baseball, Bobby has thrown the baseball, they're going to continue to get opportunities. Um, so fortunately, we do have some off days coming, but I think for Emmett, just to look forward to that next start.